Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob and this is Bluegrass Profits. In today's episode here, we're gonna talk about the 12 different SKUs that sold on Amazon for me. Uh, they totaled 25 different orders. I had a little bit less profit than last week, but nonetheless, it was still profit and it was still good. I'm also gonna share with you guys an item that I got ungated in today. Um, I often find this item at a lot of the stores such as TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Ross, and the likes of those stores. However, I've always been gated and I've never been able to sell them, but they've made good money. So I'm gonna show you what that item is and I'm gonna tell you how I got ungated and how you guys can do it too, because I'm sure you guys have found it and probably a lot of you can't sell the item either. So hang tight, we're gonna to get to that one. We're gonna quickly go over the items that sold on Amazon. All right, so week. quick shout out to a user named Blastnum. They commented this morning on my videos and just said that they'd like to see me more eye level with the camera. And looking at my videos, I would have to agree with you. I think it does look better just kind of being straight on with the camera. Um, so if you guys have any other criticism, please leave it below in the comments. I'd like to know what you guys think, what you want to see, what I'm doing weird, what am I doing good, anything like that. But first off here we have this Groom and Clean. This is a beauty product, like a hair gel. Um, I bought these from Walmart for $3 each. I bought these on March 27th. I checked them in on May 9th because I didn't really know how to list expiration dates on products. Um, I sold four of them this week. I sold them for $8 even. I gave a profit of 44 cents. You're probably wondering why I picked these up for 44 cents profit. Um, at the time, these were selling for $13.25 on Amazon. And I guess everybody found these at Walmart clearance at the same time, sent them all in and the price kind of tanked. But I held firm at $8 just because I was gonna break even with that. Um, I looked earlier today and now they're actually selling for like $10 each because nobody else below us has, they have no more stock. So they're all selling out. So maybe I should have listed it higher and it would just been a couple more days before it finally sold. But nonetheless, I finally got all of these gone. I had eight total and all eight have finally sold. Next up here we have this Nike Boys two-piece outfit. Um, I picked these up at TJ Maxx. Uh, these were bought on June 11th and they checked into Amazon on July 16th. I actually held on to these for a little while because I was kind of gathering a shipment together. Um, they sold, I had two pairs that actually sold on July 31st. I picked these up for $16.99 and they sold for $38.99, giving me a profit of $11.12 each. So you double that up, we have $22.24. Um, that's an ROI of 61%. The one thing I have to say, guys, is like, why tank the prices when they sell? When I bought these originally, they were selling for $38.99. As in the five weeks that elapsed, so many people had jumped on the listing and tanked the price all the way down into the 24s. That's kind of the reason why I held on to sending these in for so much time. So people were scrapping for one to two dollars when you wait, you know, five weeks total, and now I made eleven dollars each on these guys. Um, so, moral of the story: don't tank the price. Just they're gonna sell when they sell. You're not getting charged crazy storage fees just for having them sit on the shelf for like an extra couple weeks. So. Unless you're hurting for the money, I guess then maybe make the quick buck. But at the end of the day, just because you have a lot of sales doesn't mean you have a lot of profits. However, I'm trying to get my profits to be as large as possible. Next up here, you guys are probably tired of seeing this one, but it is that red Adidas Tricot t-shirt. I picked these up at Hibbets during their 4th of July sale. They were 50% off on all the clearance items. Again, checked into Amazon on July 16th. I had two of these sold for on July 31st. And again, I paid $9 each for these shirts, so totaling $18 I paid for. I sold these guys for $38.50, which, you know, that's $77 in sales. Profits was $18.22 each. Two of those get you a two thirty-six forty-four, an ROI of 202% just on these shirts. So great pickup, and they're all gone. I'm going to be upset that I didn't find more. Not gonna waste too much time with this one, but these were those Godzilla toys I talked about in last week's episode. Um, I sold five of these this week. I finally have cleaned out my inventory, so I'm thankful for that. I made 57 cents profit on these guys, so I didn't lose any money. However, it wasn't a great buy. At the time, I was still making like two to three dollars on these items and they were selling pretty fast. But as all Amazon sellers will know that everybody starts to find an item and they kind of gravitate towards it, which everybody was doing with the Godzilla toys. I haven't looked recently to see if I can even find any more, but I know with the Godzilla toys, they're not selling near as well as they were. 
So this next item here is gonna be very similar to last week's, however, it's a different size. We have a Carter's Romper. This was in a three month size. I believe last week's was, was maybe nine months. I don't know, so don't quote me on it. Um, but I bought this on June 11th. They checked in to Amazon on June, July 16th. Sold it on August 1st. I paid $7.99 for this item. I sold it for $19.99, which gave me a profit of $4.53, which is an ROI of 53%. So it's kind of funny, last week we were talking about these white Adidas jackets, and I had mentioned how I had some blue jackets, but they have yet to sell. However, this week, that one finally did. Um, again, that Hibbets 4th of July weekend sale, where everything was 50% off, that's where this jacket came from. Checked in on July 16th with that giant order, sold for on August 2nd which I paid $13.24 for this item. Hang tight guys, for just a few more of these items, there's really not that many left. Um, I'm getting ready to discuss the overall profits and then I'm gonna jump into the item that I got ungated in to sell a bunch of. Just sold the last of my Nike football skull caps. Uh, again, Hibbit's 4th of July weekend sale, where I paid $3.99 for this item and I sold these guys for $24.99. The lowest seller on Amazon was $19.95, but I was FBA and they were selling for $24.95. So sometimes it pays to ship everything in to Amazon FBA, but gave me a profit of $13.27 for this one skull cap. I had a total of four throughout the last couple weeks. You know, that was $52 in profits just from four small items that were literally about this big. Uh, that's an ROI of 314%. Pretty good. Another new item for you, we have these Nike Pro Tights. Um, Fourth of July weekend from Hibbets. Um, they sold on August 2nd. I paid $7.93 for this pair of pants. They sold for $39.99, giving me a profit of $19.61, which was an ROI of 247%. Here we have some Hagger pants. These were size 32 by 30. Picked these up at Kohl's during one of my clearance runs. Um, so this was March 19th is when I bought these and they checked into Amazon on April 7th. So they've been sitting on the shelf at Amazon for four months. Um, they sold on August 3rd. I paid $10.61 for this pair of pants. These sold for $42.99. It's possible Amazon was on the listing at the time. I don't really know. Um, I think I only have like four or five pairs of Hagger pants left in various sizes. Um, nonetheless, I had a profit of $20.41, and that's with storage fees. Like I said, it's very minimal anymore, as long as they don't sit for an extended period of time. Amazon doesn't charge you too much, especially if you're getting a great return on investment. Um, you're really not going to notice what little storage fees they take out. Um, but that's an ROI of 192% for that pair of pants. One more thing to note, um, I sold another pair of Huck fishing shorts. I say another pair, but it was actually the same pair I sold a couple weeks ago. The item was actually returned by the customer because I guess they didn't fit them. Um, they checked back in today on August 4th, and they sold today on August 4th. So just a reminder, I paid $22.03. They sold for $52, and I'll get another profit of $16.51. I say another profit, it just comes back to me because the customer was refunded, so I lost what I made but then I made it back again. Um, so yes, you do get returns on clothing, but as long as the customer doesn't cut the tags off, which I've only ever had one person do, um, you can resell it and it goes right back out the door, which is nice. Two other items that I sold this week. I sold one more pack of those slime liquors. I think I have two left. I also sold a total of five different pairs of Oshkosh Bagash sandals. Um, Two of those were brown in size six, one was a brown in size eight, one was a brown in size nine, and one was a black in size six. Um, I recommended you all to get on Kohl's.com and get these for yourself, but you guys didn't. I gave you a week's time. Um, they were still there, so I went ahead and bought a few other different variety and sizes because Amazon has just been going in and out of stock, and I've been able to snag these for a really good price on Kohl's. My average price is around $12. I'm selling them between $36 and $38. And I just looked at Inventory Labs, and the one, I think the brown sixes, 
I've already sold $122 of profit worth. So that's like six or seven of those, maybe even a little bit more, maybe eight to nine. I really don't know. Um, I just, I got a shelf right over this way and it is kind of getting loaded down with these guys. So, but they keep trickling out the door one day after another. So I keep going to the UPS store and in the post office. Um, so they're going out and I'm making money from these because you guys didn't buy them. Sorry. I told you about them. The profit for the week, we are looking at $251.34. Um, this is excluding four replant items. Lastly, the fun one that everyone always wants to know, at least I want to know, um, if I was to continue to sell everything I sold on Amazon at this current rate in a one year time period, I'm looking at $13,069 in additional income. Um, this is from sourcing on the weekends, maybe some nights after work. This is a part-time job for me. However, I'm hoping to turn it full-time. Here we have this VTEC um, Grip and Go steering wheel. This is a baby item, but it's more importantly, it's VTEC. Um, this is the brand that I got ungated in today. I actually used Kohl's.com and got my invoice from there and sent it off to Amazon and they pretty much instantly approved it. I took all the right pictures. I uploaded the invoice that they sent with me. Um, Amazon was on the listing for this guy at $11.99, scratch that, $14.99 at the time when I bought these. Kohl's had them for $11.99. It was the cheapest VTech item that they had, so I figured I was going to actually lose some money on this, but in the long run, once I find enough VTech toys, I'll turn that uh, ungating loss into a profit. Um, but I used Kohl's cash to buy these, I ended up getting them for $3.90 each. So I'm gonna compete with Amazon at $14.99, assuming that's what they still are. Or maybe I'll wait until around Christmas time to send these in for Q4 and hopefully make a larger profit on these items. Um, but yeah, so uh, this weekend I have a big shipment I need to get out the door. It's comprised of Kohl's items, online items that I purchased um, for Ungates. Um, I'm kinda of looking at them right now. I also have some OA leads that I've been getting here recently. Um, assuming those start to sell, I may or may not share those with you guys because they, if they turn into replens, I'd like to keep them for myself. Sorry, um, being a little selfish here. Um, but yeah, um, so that's pretty much going to do it for this week's episode. Um, if you guys have found any value in what I shared with you, maybe it was the items that sold or maybe it was this ungating guide, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it would mean a lot for me as we are rapidly climbing subscribers. We are approaching that, well, probably 700 mark at this point in time. Again, smash that like button and I will see you guys on the next week's video.